Hey guys and welcome to the Video Stream Blaster Pro video creator training video. Let me show you how you can easily use Video Stream Blaster Pro to create stunning videos. In the left you can add media to your video. You can add images either from your PC or from the internet. I'm going to click on add from PC. Now you can either add images or videos. Let's add some images to our project. Click on add images. Now you can either select one file or multiple files and click on open. As you can see all the images have been added to our video. Now in case you also want to combine images and videos you need to click on add from PC, add video and select the video files you want to add. In this case I'm going to select these four videos. Now in case you want to add images from the internet click on add from internet, enter a keyword here and click on search. The list is being populated. Now these images have been downloaded from Google Images and I'm going to select the images that I want. I'm going to select these images and delete them because I only want to add this image. And I'm going to click on add image. As you can see the image has been added. Now if you want to rearrange the slides simply click on a slide and drag it. Alright, I finished arranging the slides. Now whenever you want to modify a slide you can right click on the slide and uh, you will have tons of options. You can duplicate a slide, this will simply create an exact copy of the slide. As you can see the slide looks identical and you can insert it anywhere you want. But I don't need it for now. You can set the transition by clicking on transitions and selecting a transition from the list. You can do any action on multiple slides at a time. So if you select multiple slides, right click. The transition as you can see has been set to all the selected slides. Now let's set the duration for the slides. I'm going to select these three slides and select 10 second duration. Now if you want to set a custom duration you can click on custom duration and you can enter a custom number let's say 7 seconds. Again you can right click and select a watermark image and a watermark image position. The watermark will appear in the video at the image position you select so it's top left, middle and so on. Now let's add text to our slides. You can either right click individually and click on text and set a custom text. As you can see I just set the text to the slide but because I already have an image that contains the text, I wrote it in my favorite image editor, I have the option to right click and click on don't show text only speak it. So this option will not show the text on the slide but it will speak it when we will create the video. Now in case you have an article and want to split it among all the slides you can add the article either from the PC or if you don't have an article you can search on the internet and uh, add it to your video. Now when you write a custom article you have an option. In this case the first two lines will go to the first slide and the second slide will have an empty text. The third slide will have an empty text and the fourth slide will have this text and so on. Now this is very cool because you can actually split the article as you want it because in uh, the normal way Video Sim Blaster Pro will split the article by sentences. So if you have a text with 10 sentences and you have 10 slides it will assign one sentence per slide. Alright now I'm going to set the text for the other slides also. Now for these two slides I don't want to show the text, I only want to speak it so I'm going to tick this option. Now for this slide I will want to set a text but I also want to display it on the slide. I'm going to click on text, set the text. Alright now I'm going to right click and select the text position, I want it to be in the bottom and select the text alignment, I want it to be centered. 
Now if I double click on the slide, a quick preview will show and this is how the text will look like. Let me improve the text display a bit. You right click and click on text settings and now you select a different font if you want. You can select a different text color, I'm going to leave it white and I'm going to leave the background color black and I'm going to add some transparency but I only want to add it for the background so the text will remain 100% opaque but the background will have 10% transparency. Now you can set this option for multiple slides at a time but in my case I only selected one slide so I click on save. Now if I double click as you can see at the bottom the text has been added and this is how the text will look like. The background has a transparent color and that's it. Now a great new part of the Vida Spin Blaster Pro is that you can download audios directly from the internet. These are copyright free audios downloaded from SoundCloud. You need to enter a search keyword, you need to select the download directory, I'm going to save it in my local PC on C drive and press search. As you can see it's gathering tracks and now it started downloading all the tracks. As you can see the first audio has been added, it has been saved in the C drive and I'm going to stop it for now because I already have an audio. So click on done. Now in the left you have the video details. This is the video length, this is an estimated length. And here you see the number of slides you have in your video. And now you must know that the video slides have an exact duration. So you cannot modify the duration of a video slide. Now when you set a text and you will speak it, if the duration of the slide is smaller than the length of the audio that will be generated, the slide will be extended so it will have the same length as the audio. So let's say you want, you want all the slides to have the exactly same length with the length of the audio that will be generated. You can simply select the slides and select a custom duration of one second because if the length of the audio is larger, the duration will be larger also. So you can, you can do this without any problems. Now a great part of Video Spin Blaster Pro is that it supports multiple video lists. As you can see here, I have uh, different lists. You can create a new video list and you simply start a new project but you also have the old project here. So everything is saved automatically and you can generate multiple videos at a time. Alright, so let's start creating a video. All you have to do is click on create video. Now the first thing you need to do is select an output file name. Now in case you generate multiple videos at a time, you can enter uh, different file names here. So for example you can enter video 1, video 2, video 3 and if you check the option randomize pictures, what this option will do, will this will randomize your slides and you can generate multiple videos at a time. So it will simply combine all the images and videos from your uh, list and generate multiple unique videos. So let's say I want to generate five videos. You have the, the option to uh, not randomize the first slide and not randomize the last slide. And again, if you want the text to have perfect sense, you can check this option and it will not randomize the text from the slides. But in my case, I don't want to check this option. I only want to create one single video. Now, I also want to add an audio background. I'm going to check this option. You can add uh, an audio either from file or select a random file from the directory. I'm going to select from file, browse for the file and I'm going to select the volume. I'm going to set 10, 100 is maximum. Now I also want to add speech audio. You have various options. First you can turn the text to the audio. This will turn the text from this text box and add it as a speech audio for uh, the video. The great power of Video Spin Blaster Pro is to turn text of the slides to audio and I really recommend using this. I'm going to set the volume to 80. 
That's it, we are almost done. We need to select the quality of the video. Uh, one is the higher quality and 10 is the bad quality. Uh, when you make a higher quality, the video will take a bit longer to do. So I'm going to select 5. And again, you can select the video size. You can select the various predefined options from here. Or you can enter custom wide and height. And now you can generate videos in three different ways. You can generate videos fast. And honestly, uh, I use this the most. Although it doesn't support transition, it's very fast. It, you can literally create uh, hundreds of videos in minutes. You can generate videos normal. The video will look identical, but it will support transitions. This is a bit slower. And you can generate a PPT presentation. When generating videos normal, you can also generate the PPT presentation instantly without uh, needing to re-encode all the videos. In my case, I'm going to select Generate Videos Fast. Now, the PPT presentation will be saved and you can actually open it in PowerPoint and uh, view it. It's very important to note that you need to have installed Microsoft PowerPoint at least version 2007. Now, let's say you have multiple video lists and you want to generate all the videos at a time. You can check this option. Alright, so that's it. All you have to do now is click on Start and in the left you are going to see a progress that will tell you the steps that are currently being done by Video Stream Blaster Pro. I really hope you find this video useful. Thank you.